your friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. The prime factorization method and repeated subtraction method can become very lengthy and difficult to handle when it comes to large numbers. So we here introduce you to division method of finding square root. Let us take an example and explain step by step the division method. Let us take a number 529. Our first step is to place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the ones place. So we make a pair and we have 5 that is single digit in the second bar. Next step is to find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the extreme left bar. We have 5 under the extreme left bar. So we have to find the number whose square is less than or equal to 5. So let us check. We know that 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, and 3 square is 9. So the required number is 2. Then we have to divide 5 by 2. So let us do it. We will get 2 to the 4 which gives us 1 as remainder. Step 3 is to bring down the number under the next bar. So let us bring down 29. Now we have 529. Our next step is to double the divisor and enter it with the blank on its right. So let us do so. Our divisor was 2. So let us double it. It will be 2 into 2, 4. We enter 4 with the blank on its right. Step 5 is that we have to guess the largest possible number to fill the blank, this blank, such that when the new divisor is multiplied to that number, the product is less than or equal to the dividend. Dividend is 129. So let us try to fill the blank. So if we take 1 in the blank and multiply by 1, this will give us 41, which is nowhere near to 129. So let us take 2 in the blank and multiply by 2, this will be 84, again this is not very near to 129, so let us try 3, we get 129, so the required number is 3, Fill and let us fill the blank. We get 129. We get the remainder 0. So we can say that 23 is the square root of 529. Step 6. If the remainder is 0 and no digits are left under the bar, then the quotient is the required square root. That means that under root of 529 is equal to 23.
step 7 if more numbers are under the bar then bring down the next bar double the quotient and enter it with a blank on the right as the next divisor and repeat steps 5 to 7 to understand let us take up a big number let us take up 5 4 7 5 6 we start with bars then we get 2 2 is a 4 and remainder 1 then we have to double this we get 4 with the blank on the right and copy the next bar we get 147 now we have to guess the number in the blank let us do some rough work for guessing if we do take 42 into 2 it will be 84 let us see 43 into 3 that will be 129 if we take 44 by 4 it will be 176 but we have to choose the number which brings number less than 147 so next number is 3 we get 129 let us subtract we get 18 so we are left with the number now and more numbers are there in the bar so let us bring out bring down 56 and now we have to double the quotient it becomes 46 with the blank on the right now we have to repeat step 5 so let us try and guess a number if we try it with 3 we are getting 1389 and on trying with 4 we get the same number so let us put 4 and divide we get 1856 and on subtracting we get remainder 0 that implies that under root of 54756 is equal to 234